Let's head back over to Elden Tower here. Now that we have our Dragonbone Club. The elemental theme is super cool. I am really loving this special event that they're running right now. The theming is good. The gifted, the like free available skins that are given out over the course of this event are really good. Like everything looks really nice with this event. I'm liking it way more than the last one. I'm also liking the playability of these maps better. Um, I feel like I feel like it's a much better setup overall. All right, we are still over the lava flows, so we're gonna equip our flame breaker equipment here. I should probably re up on my food. That would probably be a good choice. At least a little bit. So I'm not basically at half health. All right. Uh, what's going to be the easiest way to get down there? Maybe that direction? Yeah, the Greek myth, the Greek myth is just fun because it's the Greek myth, right? Like, I feel like that's... I love that for, for personal reasons. And the skins that came out with the Greek myth uh, were really good. Like, they were, they were good skins that they did for that event. Um, can I take a picture of the hot springs? Will it do anything for me? I guess not. I had hope. Are these hot springs deep enough that they will give me the, the healing? Yes. Excellent. We are gonna... I didn't want to equip that! Shoot. We're gonna equip that. It's almost broken, but... We are gonna equip that, too. Yes? Can I help you? Ooh! Got some topaz over here. I'm still, I'm still in the mid-swing. Apparently I am too good at being quick on the... Well, that didn't work. Too good at being quick on the draw with my uh, inventory menu, so I'll still be in mid-swing. Trying, <laughs> trying to switch out my uh, equipment. No, you stay over there. I don't want to play with you. Lizifos. You stay over there. No, do, do, no, do, no, do, do, no. Trying to keep an eye out for the what is it? The hot-footed lizards or whatever. Because we need some for a quest, but we also need them to upgrade the armor. I think I may have just run past one and not seen it. Trying to not activate that Lizophos over there. But friends, I know, right? They just want to be friends. It's fine. Hello? What? <laughs> I did not remember there being emu birds here. Since when? Do 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 do. We are going to go over to that ridge from here, I think. 
I think that's going to be our best area. Also, what the heck are these giant beasts that we have carcasses of? Or the skeletons of? I am terrified. And I do not wish to fight one. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I have 10 minutes before I go back to work and I don't want to. But here's my question, though. What is something that you can spend this 10 minutes doing that will help you feel good in the moment and will put you in a good mindset when you do have to go back to work. Because when I was working corporate, especially when I was working in the call center, it took a lot of effort to combat the negative energy that I could in, like interact with um, either from my coworkers or from the people who I got stuck on the phone with, right? But you had to be able to kind of maintain your own personal energy in that state. And I hate to say make the best of it, but that's really, that's really what is happening is that you are making the best of it, right? Um, but... Coming in here with your wise words when I was determined to pout, I'm I'm so sorry to ruin that for you. I I know it's it's just the worst. <laughs> I'm just the worst. How dare I? How dare I come in here with like big thoughts like that? The morale here is so low that I have to dig really deep for my own energy. Yeah. It, it definitely can be. So, take this, you know, now what, five minutes? To center yourself and just allow yourself to kind of refresh, you know? To, to get those pieces back in place. So that you can have that ready to go, you know? All right, that one is already a stamp. I've marked that how many times now? That one stinking shrine? Take watching this stream. It's a lovely place to recharge. Sugoi! Dang it. Coming for my feelings. Yeah, or give yourself a reward later after work. Exactly, like... Take, take this 10 minutes to plan what your next reward can be, right? To, to how you're going to make your leaving work something that you can look forward to. That's a great suggestion, Sugoi. I don't like that half of this tower is shrouded. That is distressing to me. Ooh, we love we love good grocery times. We poked the feeling you did. You did. You poked the feelings. Woodland Tower. This is half a skull. Oh no! Rupee, no! Alright, we're gonna just, we're gonna yeet these off the, the tower here. Eh. Hard as it is, if there is 
There is no good to be had. Sometimes you have to make the good. Sometimes you have to be the light you need. Exactly, Wildhearted. That is a fantastic way to put that. I feel like I'm lighting my own light and low on fl low on lighter fluid. Yes. Yes. Which is why it's very important to take those little moments to recharge, you know? Allow allow yourself to take those moments to recharge and really put that energy back into yourself, you know, so that you're not projecting that energy out and away from you where it's not going to get returned, if that makes sense. Sugoi have plenty of light to offer so I will send you some we love to see it we love to see that village love we love to see that support we love to see that mutual support very good all the poked feelings yes we love to see it Okay, so... Also quite a sap most times, so I will show the appreciation. We love to see it. It was very good. Alright, so... We have... A stable down here. Which is likely to be useful to us. We got a whole maze of moblin fight down here, like, and an octa rock. I see you, octa rock. I'm not excited about it. I'm also kind of worried about guardians being in this area. And it's raining. Which means that climbing is going to be kind of a no-go right now. We got a whole bunch of dead trees over that way, it looks like. That looks very spooky over there. I wonder if that's where I'm going. I wonder... Hydrate. Why are we cold? Why we gotta be cold? Sir. Link, why are you cold? It's raining, so drink up. Thank you. And some squats! Alrighty, I see you with the squat count. Tipsy Tiger has opened the squat count for today. So, if you would like to add to the squats count, now is the time. For me, at least, that's what places like the village are for. When my wick is extra short, I am a candle. Hanging out in the village helps me find some more. That is wonderful to hear. <laughs> you told me to appreciate the little things, so squats! Planned out my day today so I don't get bored. I may or not follow that plan. Yes, as one does. As one does. Alrighty, we will get to those squats in a little bit here. Probably in about 10 minutes. But first, we gotta figure out where the heck I'm going here. So I think for now, we are gonna go down to the stable. Coming out of lurk for the squats. Level up, lady. Thank you so much. And thank you for hanging out. And lurking with us today. Saw you were playing some stream readers with us as well. I appreciate you. Even if we're just having a lurky sort of day. 
I got recommended to follow the road over here, so we're gonna go over to the stable. See if we can pick up any... Hello? There seems to be a shrine nearby. Is it over there? It is over there. Hello, shrine. get to that in just a moment. We're going to mark it on the map so that I don't forget. Yay! He's over here. We needed to go see him, too. There's a stable. Of course there's a shrine. I mean, yes, but... It's you again! I'm trying to get back to Korok Forest, but I've lost my way. Folks from the stable here say we're in right in the border between Elden and Region and the Great Hyrule Forest. Shaka, uh, that means Korok Forest must be very near. But as long as I am here, I may as well rest up. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I know that smell anywhere. It's a Korok seed. You've collected a Korok seed from the forest children, haven't you? If you give me Korok seeds, I'll increase the size of one of your stashes. Which stash would you like me to expand? All of them. Yes, Big Broccoli Man. We are we are back talking to Hestu, Big Broccoli Man. Need two Korok seeds. Deal? Yes. Deal. We're gonna get ready to just like be sick of this song. Because we, we got a whole bunch of this we need to do. Expand the band band. Weapon stash. Shakala. So then and then then. Do you want to expand another stash? Yes. Just need two Korok seeds. I have, I have plenty. I happen to have quite a few, sir. Green. Ooh, fancy. All right. Expand the band band. Bow stash. All right. I also feel like this would be another fun one to do as a cosplay. There is a, there is a cosplayer who is doing a cosplay of the Koroks. But I feel like Hestu would be a fun one. You only think that's plenty? Remember there are 900 of those little dudes and think about that. I mean, like, I still feel like there's a, a pretty good... A pretty good... Uh, feel here when it comes to what we have and what we need to expand, right? I know it goes up exponentially with ex each expansion, but you're Korok hunting on your Breath of the Wild playthrough at the moment. Very nice. All right. What? I think I remember how to get back to Korok Forest. Maybe I'll head back now. I bet Grandpa is waiting for me. Thanks for the Korok seeds. I'm off to Korok Forest. Come visit me there sometime. Listen! I needed to talk to you! Alright. Are you, are you gonna go, like, go? Can I follow you there? That would be really convenient if I could just follow you, sir. Oh, well. I guess not. You don't need your helmet right now, Link. Wear your, wear your fancy earrings instead. I like this little seating area here. It's cute. Alrighty. 
I know we still have... I know we still have... Ooh, double X we've already gotten a picture of. But I'm tempted to maybe get a better one. Ooh, I like that one better. Like, they're both nice, but I like that one better because you can see the details better. Speaking of which, I am going to clear out some of my pictures. That's a fun one. But some of these I definitely don't need to hang on to. That's cute, though. That's heckin' cute. Got a lot of good photos out of this, though. Actually, I'm going to hang on to that one. Because I'm pretty sure that we picked up that gold sword near Hyrule Ridge. Also, please enjoy this very dramatic photo with the blood moon rising. Which cracks me up to no end. Okay, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna activate this shrine. I don't wanna do this shrine right now, but we're gonna activate the shrine. Do we have a picture of the soldier's spear? I don't think we do. Hello? Useful. A cricket over here. Ooh, and a rush room right up here on the, the cliff. So let's let's go up there real quick. Because that's nice and easy to get to. Too many Koroks in the game, like way too many. I haven't a clue. I don't know the difference, honestly. Flame! Flame! Ooh, I made red choo-choo jellies like that. I didn't know that was gonna happen. That's cool. Not enough Koroks. Only Koroks. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> Mirosha's Shrine. I know we've got, so there's, there's a bunch of shrines I have yet to do. I've done a couple of shrines off stream, um, here and there, just trying to clean up a few things, but I may do like a full, a full day of shrines. We've got the labyrinth puzzles that I, th I'm guessing they have a shrine in them or something. So we could do a day of labyrinth puzzles. Um, what else are other things that would be good to do once we have all of the Divine Beasts done, but before we go and meet Ganon? We could do, like, a day of hunting Koroks. I don't know. Maybe, maybe like, making sure that we have all of the Great Fairies unlocked. That might be another good one, right? Ooh, a sapphire. Nice. Soldier's broadsword over here.
Burrock Forest is a great one too. For for what? Just going to to look around stuff? I got a doggo here. Let's give the doggo an apple and see if it has anything for us. Here you go, buddy. Yes, chase chase your tail first. Be doggo donut. Hey, come have your apple. You 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 don't seem to care about the apple. I have, I activated a bunch of Hitano Village quests. I've got a bunch of open quests. Uh, weapon Connoisseur, Gift for My Beloved, Hylian Homeowner, which is almost done at this point from the ground up. Dognado, yes. We love the dog NATO. It's a good time. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Good morning. Yeah, if you're making time to talk to an old man like me, you must be in need of something. You aren't from around here, are you? Ah, <laughs> when you get to my age, you can tell just by looking at people's faces. Here is this. Here is Woodland Stable, borders on the Elden Region and Hy Hyrule Field. It's a central fixture for travelers. Also, the Great Hyrule Forest, which is where the stable got its name, is right over yonder. Do you want me to tell you about the surrounding area? Sure. Let's talk about Hyrule Forest first. The Great Hyrule Forest is north of here. It's the largest forest in Hyrule. In the heart of the forest sits a terrifying group of enchanted trees called the Lost Woods. I once got lost there while collecting firewood when I was but a boy. As I went deeper into the forest, the wind was blowing this way and that chilled me to the bone. I got scared and ran as fast as I could, trying to get away from the howling wind. Then all of a sudden, the fog lifted. I was standing outside the forest. And there's something dangerous hiding in those lost woods. Don't go wandering in there. I watched Marley and me recently and cried my heart out. Oh no! Doggo, Doggo is following me. Anybody else see this? Doggo is following me. Made me want a dog, but I think my cat would beat it up. Oh no. Oh no. Wow, what a dignified structure. How much nature, how does nature create such magnificence? Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. Here. Ooh, this picture shows Hyrule Castle at a distance. They say there used to be a stage where knighting ceremonies were performed just south of Hyrule Castle. It is in ruins now, but I'm pretty certain that's where that's what's in this picture. However, that area is extremely dangerous. If you're planning on going there, please be careful. Well, that's something that I have not been doing, um, is that I have not been marking any of the, any of the memories that we found on our map. Um, I'm not sure how exactly to do that. We'll use the gem for now, I guess. I wish I liked olives. My taste buds are rude. I don't know that they're rude. Like, everybody's allowed to have their own tastes. You're allowed to not like black olives. I, for one, love them. And I am happy to enjoy them. Alrighty. Is there anybody else over here that I can potentially get a quest from? That's what I'm looking for. Ah! I just don't know what to do. What's wrong, Molo? Listen, if you want to get anywhere in this life, you gotta have cash and cachet. And the only way to do that in this day and age is to go to, stay with me here, Hyrule Castle. 
I know it sounds crazy, but rumor has it it's full of abandoned treasure and weapons. They're just sitting there, free for the taking. Well, if you can get past all the bloodthirsty monsters for it, of course. Our options are go for it, take it easy, or to leave the conversation. Leaked prism! Why have you done this? Why? Every time. So, should we encourage this this poor adventurer to go to Hyrule Castle, or should we suggest they uh, they take it easy? What do you think, chat? Very picky eater. I have, for me, I have done a good deal to try and expand my palette. I could probably do uh, do more of that, but stay alive and that would be enough. Darius Jean, why? Why have you given me this earworm? <laughs> yes, we can find the lifeless body as we travel later. Oh, no. All righty. Take it easy. Take it easy and let a rumor like this go to waste? Nah, I gotta go big. There's a docks on the north side of Hyrule Castle, see? And I hear you can get inside the castle from there. There's also an ancient shrine somewhere around there. Smells like treasure to me. Stinks like it, even. Of course, no one I know who's gone to Hyrule Castle has come back. Probably because they're too busy being rich. I just need to come up with a solid plan. Then I'll be living the good life. All right, Molo. You think that, if you want. I don't believe you. But if there is a dock on the north side of Hyrule Castle, which looks like is potentially around here, then maybe when we go back to Hyrule Castle, we want to go in from the north side. Yeah, it definitely made a difference, right? He definitely listened to us. Clearly, very, very much in value of our uh, opinion here. Hello there, traveler. Welcome to our stable. Will you stay a while, won't you? If you have a horse, we can help you change its gear or remain in style. We're always happy to meet new horses, so stop on by. Yeah, why did he ask for our opinion then? Exactly. If they weren't even going to follow our suggestions, why ask for our opinion? Agreed. Ooh, we might have everything we need for this dish. I'm pretty sure we have plenty of rice. I know we grabbed some spices. And we have some carrots. Because he likes the sound of Link's voice. Dang it. Is that really everybody that's here? I kind of expected there to be more people around. But that seems to be it. Huh. I mean, we did get some good good uh, information. So that's useful. But I thought we might end up getting a quest to go elsewhere. All right, it's 9.30 p.m., so let's have a rest. And then we will get out one of our horses that we can take with us. Yes, the strong, silent voice. Exactly. <laughs> His voice is so soothing you can't even hear it. Ugh, how dare you. Also, it's very tempting to put together one of these Stable Master costumes. And, uh, have a bunch of, like, miniature horses that I can take with me and wear it to a convention. He does. He does have the karate grunts. It's true. It's very true. Alrighty, so, let's get a, a horse... We will take one of our horses here. Who shall we take with us? Oh. We 
we'll take latte with us. Feed them another apple. Hi, Latte. Enjoy your apple. And your surprisingly large turning radius. <laughs> Alright. So, with that, we are going to go down the road here and see where it takes us. And by down the road, I mean I am going to immediately stop because there are hardy radishes over here. Which we definitely need more of. Well, I definitely need to go back and investigate that later. right now, though. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Moblins over there. Ooh, a little moblin chest, too. Nice. Warm butterflies. All right, so that stable is a happening place. Do I have a sword equipped? I do. got hairier than I expected. You did pretty good. Much as it galls me to thank you for saving us, that is what happened. So sure, here's a little something. Ooh, spicy curry rice. Very nice. I'll get him next time for sure. Alrighty, Mina. Good luck out there. Okay, so if we follow this road... The way we are going, we are going to end up back over the the river. What quest do I have active right now? Oh, the Trial of Thunder. Do I have a quest that's going to actually take me into the forest? I don't think I do. So we are going to ignore... Oh, we got bogs around here. I need to keep an eye out on that. That's going to be a problem later. They are now dancing around the cook pot. The Moblin animations may never cease to amuse me. I love it. It's so good. Um, ooh, we got a smokestack over there. I wonder how far away that is. And if that is indeed in the correct direction of where we're going. We got a couple of smokestacks. one. That one's right here, actually. A 
But it's around the base of the tower here. I'm going to go up this ramp a little bit and see... Military training camp. Interesting. Vocal percussion at its finest. Mm, nope, this doesn't look like uh, quite what we're looking for here. Alrighty, onward. Onward we go. Let's see where this takes us. Alright, we got more, more bog over here. Good to know. Hello, Purple Jay! Leaving a lurk, going for a walk. Enjoy the outside time, Purple Jay! If you would like to share any of your IRL adventures over on the Discord, they are always welcome. But I hope that your walk goes well and you enjoy some peaceful adventures out there for your day. There is a apparently giant tree with pink leaves. All right, so we've got torches. We are in the misty zone here. We've got torches that seem to be marking a path. Would be nice if we could actually put out any kind of path marker. That would be interesting. Alrighty. Well, I was correct. The leafless trees did, in fact, make for a spooky area. Imagine. Can I, can I actually take my horse in here with me? We shall see. Why, yes. Excellent. So let's, uh, let's go to canter here. see how that does. Ooh, very thick fog. Do, 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 do. That feels like it was not actually the path that I was supposed to go down. Okay, so I've seen Zelda stuff before. Is there actually a Deku tree in this game? Because we hadn't seen, like, Deku stuff until... Like, up until this point. Alright, I do hear the Korok sound. So, finding the Forest Dweller's Spear is kind of not a surprise here, but I do love it. I do love it. Alright, where else? Do we have torches anywhere else? Is there anything else I can see over here? That looks like some kind of landmark. We got, we got an actual torch. 
I don't want to leave my horse in this area. Alright. They seem to be leading me towards picking up a torch here. So let's equip... No! No! How did I heckin' set my horse on fire? Rude. I'm so sorry, friend. <laughs> Traumatized my horse. I'm sorry. And I set the freaking Boko Club over here on fire, too. Good. We're doing we're doing great. <laughs> we're doing a great job over here. <laughs> Ugh, all right. This is what I wanted. This was all I wanted was to light the stupid torch. This is a lot of high grass. I am concerned. We have torches. They gave me a torch and there is burning fire here and a lot of high grass. Which leads me to believe that I am being told to burn the high grass, which is terrifying. I feel like that is going to go poorly. But there is this little, like, knoll here that does not have any high grass on it. So we're going to save in case we die. Uh, I'm going to unequip my wooden shield right now. And we're going to go out here and catch myself on fire, of course. And watch the fire burn itself out. Excuse me. I mean, all right, but why? I can do this, too. <laughs> that could be fun. No? Nothing? Okay. Well, perhaps we need to go a different direction then. Huh. So we shall go back this way towards the other torch. Is that one of the flame-resistant butterflies? That doesn't belong here. Interesting. This looks like it might be another... There it is. I strayed too far from the path! Dang it. I was trying to not do that. But... Apparently, going around that one tree there was too far. 
this this one tree. All right, fine. You love watching me go through puzzles? I'm glad. I'm glad it's a good time. So, unfortunately, that is the only path that I have found so far. And it seems to end in that location. So my question is, do I just need to go around the outside and find another inroad? Or is there a path that I can get to from that inner location that I found? So I'm going to go over here and we're going to try one more thing and then we are going to run Stream Raiders. Hang on. Turn, please. Or not. We will All right. So, I'm going to delete that. Because, like, my brain, my brain is trying to logic my way through this. Like, just try going around the outside of the Lost Woods again to find a way out, right? Or to find a way, find a way around. If I redeem character voice, could we get Sophie? I don't remember exactly what I did when we did Sophie. A genuine bona fide lost woods. Yes. It's it's been a while since we did any of that kind of of vocalization, if you will. I'm gonna leave the, the horse out here. And see what we can do. There is no escape. I agree. So, we are gonna go this way and see what we can find because I am not sure. See, this one does not even seem to connect to another area. So I am very confused as to where it is supposed to connect. Because it seems like if I go this way, I am going to end up away from the, the place that I am supposed to be. But I can, over here, see a bit of a fire. You see, right over there? Right over there? There is a little torch right over there. This voice with this area, just wonderful. I'm glad you are enjoying it. So there is a bit of a clearing over that way, right? Or there was. So if we go this way, I'm gonna cut down this small tree here. Tipsy Tiger, I hope you enjoyed your voice redemption. Okay, so, appreciate you earning those embers, being a wonderful part of our community. See, I don't see another torch in any direction except for the direction I came. 
I am trying a whole bunch of different angles. There's just the will-o'-wisps. I hear you, little Korok friend. So in some respects, I feel like my only, my only option is going to be to just run willy-nilly into the fog. Yeah, see. And just pray that I get to a place that is actually the breakthrough. And see if I can remember it. The only tools that it's given me has been fire and a torch. So it's possible that all I need to do is just hold up the torch and I'll be fine. But it's difficult. And like... So one of the things that I was looking at was like maybe maybe my path is marked by the the space, right? So like I was looking at like how tall the grass is. And like the tall grass does not have like a like, it's, the tall grass is short around each of these torches, right? But it doesn't have an actual path in between. So, like, this bit here is still long grass, unless I, I cut it down myself. I'm at the I'm in the jump in the path now. Where is it? There it is. So we will try equipping the torch and see see how that does for us. Because, like, ultimately this feels like a dead end. Right? You get, to, you get to go up to this. You open the chest. That is now apparently gone. And that's, like, basically it. And I tried to burn some of the high grass, which I would kind of expect to, like catch a little bit but it doesn't spread it just burns a very small area And then I catch myself on fire. No, 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 no! Uh, see, if I go too far in one direction, I also can't save myself. You're in a forest inhabited by wooden creatures. Of course, there are protections like fire. Uh, no, I don't want to hint yet. Because I want to be able to, like... I want to be able to figure it out. This tree is very mossy. But 
Thought it would have sent you back for doing the bird jump? I figured it was a risk, but... I am really not seeing any other landmarks. So there are a couple of trees over here that are not as mossy. Even the torches, though. Like, even if I look back along the path... The torches disappear. So there are these... We have a happy tree here. Or happy tree husk, anyway. I am going for insanity! That's what we're going for. The forest gets burned out. Listen, I'm trying. All right, so there's... So these trees are a little less mossy. Burning the forest down will not help you get out of the forest. <sighs> Man. And these trees don't have a face. These trees right here don't have a face. I'm wondering if that's the direction that I need to be going. As we will we will kind of follow these trees that don't have a face. Maybe. If you die, you're technically out of the forest. Oh man, should I be ca should I be counting these uh these, these forest attempts as deaths? Alright, if I'm sticking with the... If I'm sticking with the idea that I am following the, the less mossy trees... I think I want to go this way? Maybe? Like, I have no sense of where my boundaries are. Like, it feels like the, the fog should be getting, like, thicker as I approach the edge. Right? Or whatever, wherever my boundaries are. I am very close to the edge of the space over here. Like, that looks like it's going to set me off the path. Okay. A little bit of an archway situation here.
All right, that one looks like another less mossy tree, so we're gonna try going for that one. Hi, fox friend. Okay, yes. Oh no, I lost my torch! Heck. Well. Can I light a torch from uh, stuff being on fire? I guess we're gonna we're gonna walk with this right now. Um, okay, so we've got a couple. Ooh, trunk. Hector, yes. If you <laughs> want to go and hang out in the forest now, it could be fun. Only one way to find out. If you figure it out without using the key, I'm going to be both delighted and kind of miffed. Ooh, instant noodles. We love it. Okay. We've got another pair of pair of trees here. I'm going to try climbing these. Let's see if that gets me any kind of assistance. These are actually kind of difficult to see around. Um, got another open mouth tree over here. That's the direction we came from. Oh, I just noticed these kind of like pointy trees. There we go. Okay. Do I need to... Hello? Anything in here? No? Okay. Alright. There is a dry tree there, and there's a dry tree there. I kind of don't know which direction to go. Shrine nearby? Excuse me. I don't have time for a shrine right now. Got another open mouth tree over here. I am afraid to go and check it. No, it does not make them pear trees. Love few things so much as walking in a forest during a thick fog, yes. Did you bring it up for the whole stream? Yes. Tree go numb. Maybe. I hope not. This is this is a smaller tree, but it's a dry tree. Ooh. Those look like they should be Hyrulean herbs, but they aren't bloomed. How strange. Um, like this looks where I'm going. Like, tell me this doesn't look like where I'm going. But also, I'm afraid to just walk towards it because I'm afraid to get into the the mist. Big scary stuff over there. Giant peak area. All right. There's a trick to this place, but you can get in without it too. I did it without knowing the trick first. Very nice. Thank you for the hydrate, nerd boy. It does. It looks like at least somewhere that I can go. Because I'm looking at the mini-map. And there is a thing over here. Which means I should at least be able to travel this direction.
And here's the, the weird pink tree in the middle of everything. Here we go, here's Korok Forest. Or the Koroks, anyway. So I imagine this is Korok Forest. There we go. Yes, worst comes to worst, I find a shrine. There we go! How about that? <laughs> Gamer's instinct! Let me see some torches in chat. There is a shrine out here somewhere, but... Want to know the key now? I don't know. Do I? Do I have... <laughs> Let me pull the let me pull the sword out of the stone here and just have nowhere to put it. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. that did I doze off again hmm. well well it's you you finally decided to return better late than never after 100 years I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again even my patience has limits you know that look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the Chosen Knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. <laughs> Play acting with the Koroks in the background. Ah. <laughs> uh. If you hope to pull the sword from its resting place, you must use your true strength. Let us see whether or not you currently possess said power. Alrighty. Before we before we do it here, let me catch up on chat because I know that you were all enjoying that little cutscene that was happening. But yes, I made it without knowing the key. We just we just went headlong into the lost forest. Using my instincts and watching the uh, environment. Watch how my instincts will betray me in our next turn. You decided to return like it was your choice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Can remember nothing. But I'm glad that Deku Tree is actually here. Because Deku Tree is one of the NPCs that I actually know from Legend of Zelda even without playing the game. So, it's a lot of fun. There will be a class essay. Closed notes. Yes. Please make sure your pencils are sharpened. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the juxtaposition of the adorable Koroks and you will lose your life. 
says you can u lose your life and then proceeds to laugh. Yeah, exactly. In case you were worried, in case you were unsure, sir, have you heard of Thunderblight Ganon? Seriously, though. <laughs> Just lost enough, you'll eventually be found. Exactly. You don't know what I've been through. You will surely die has happened several times already. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. Firstly, firstly, we are going to heckin' take a photo. With, with a torch in the middle. It's fine. No, focus on the Master Sword. Please. There we go. Do, do, do. Who are you? Hello? That is like the most decorated Korok I have ever seen. Look at that heckin' Korok. I have feels about the fact that you did this. Listen, it was not my choice. There's so many different kinds. Ooh, this one has a quest. Hi. Hey, are you the hero? Could it be? Welcome to Korok Forest. You're, you're much co cooler looking than I thought you'd be. But to be sure you're up to the task at hand, I prepared a trial for you. What do you think? Will you accept my trial? Sure. Hooray! Show me a rod with the power of ice, please. You can wave this rod to freeze monsters in their tracks. Ice Wizrobes love to wreak havoc with them. If Mr. Hero were to wield a rod with the power of ice, he would be even stronger and cooler. We just had one. We, like, just broke it earlier today. I am annoyed by this. A million and two tree branches in this area. Also, I am slightly frustrated by the fact that there are, like, unbloomed Hyrulean herbs. Yay! Has to. Hi, has to. Hi. I must dance. Bring me dinner. Yes. Coolness equals man bun. So says the Korok. Exactly. Nobody told me the key yet, Wild Hearted. Because I, I discovered the sword without it. Is you. We meet again. What's with the silent treatment? Don't you remember me? I'm the musician of Korok Forest. Has to. I am impressed you found your way through the Lost Woods and made it here. So, have you brought me any Korok seeds? I sure hope so. If you return my Lost Korok seeds to me, I'll expand the size of your inventory. Which stash do you want another slot in? Let's do bow for right now. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Very nice. All right. We've got... I want to do a couple more sword items if I can. Cake! I want cake. Cake is good. Yes. Because I feel like there are never enough weapon slots. I just... I need so many. Maybe we'll do another shield stash as well. I 
what's so, like, why is he so giant? Because he looks very much like the other Koroks. You can get all 999 Korok seeds and there will still never be enough. I mean, we all know. We all know that I want to pick up every single inventory item that I come across. So, like... We know. All right. I think that's enough for now. Ooh, ice cream cake. Very nice. We still have 27 Korok seeds, but... All right. So, let's see how we can do here. We do have Mipha's Grace, but I don't know if it's going to let that count, you know? I demand Broccoli Man dancing. Also, actually, legitimately, do you guys want to watch me go through and, like, recreate all of the, um, the hero's weapons? Because, like, we've broken a handful of them. So if you guys want to have me do that on stream, we can do that on stream. Glowy Hoppy. Million and two heckin' quests in the in the Korok forest, apparently. Can I actually climb the Deku tree? Can I actually climb the Deku tree? Cause if it's interesting for you guys, I'm I'm happy to do it. But I wanna make sure that it's gonna be interesting to you guys. Try it and find out. I mean, I was going to. I was going to try and find out. The hardest part of this is not the actual climbing. It's the freaking leaves in the way. It's a very tiny picture of the Forest Dweller's shield, but it's adorable. Leaves are the only line of defense for the Great Deku Tree, yes. Do, 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 do. Dancing broccoli. All right. Y'all want to see the dancing broccoli times? We will do dancing broccoli times on stream. Also, why is there a a merchant? Okay. I guess there's a merchant in this area. That I didn't notice until just now. I guess it's the Deku tree? It seems to be centered on the Deku tree, but I can't tell if it's actually the Deku tree or if it's... Talk about that view, though. Capitalism prevails even in the forest, yes, apparently. Ooh, that was close. Two full stamina wheels, and I almost, uh, almost didn't make it. Apparently, I cannot collect what I assume to be Deco nuts, but I can pick them up. Do they behave like barrels? Should I slash it? We do a slash.
Well, I can break them. I don't know why. Ah, this must be our merchant. Hmm? Ah, I was having such a nice dream. Wait, if you're here, does this mean you want to face the ultimate trial? I mean, not really, but I'll try it. The ultimate trial has begun! I will tell you a riddle about an object. Your job is to solve the riddle and bring me the correct object. Here comes your first riddle. Small, red, round, and sweet. Bring me one of this simple treat. Have you figured it out? I'm guessing you're more stumped than the base of a felled tree. If you place the right object on the leaf, I'll dance for you. I want to live where this merchant lives. Yes, treehouse vibes all around. We love good treehouse vibes. Apple! It's an apple! What's on top of the tree? More quests, apparently. Jeez. That's it, that's it! You got it. Ahem. The next riddle is... Kariko's village's specialty fruit. Its rock-hard flesh is quite resolute. Kakariko village? We've been to Kakariko village. I'm going to have to go back just to remember what heckin' fruit grows in Kakariko Village. Because I thought it was apples, but I guess I am incorrect. I think he just wants food, yes. I think you are, I think you are correct, yes. Alrighty. I don't know where the shrine is. I hear it bleeping at me, but I don't know which direction it's in. Alrighty. You end up back in the fog after gliding off the tree and you have to do it all over again. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. I did see... There was a... There was an inn. Somewhere nearby. I wonder if I could get cool bonuses for doing the, the inn. Let's see how we do. Uh, you would have lost your life if you hadn't released your grip on the sword. Prepare before you try again, for I will not stay your hand part way through the next time. Well, shoot. Nice that we get a reheal, though. I don't know how many hearts we need. We currently have nine. How many spirit orbs do I have? So I have enough that I could get two more heart containers. Yeah! The, the idea that it takes life force to get the the sword that's pretty cool huh that's a really interesting mechanic where is the inn I would like to go to the inn please another korok leaf 
of course. The easy way to get more heart containers that doesn't involve going to a shrine and then going to a rare location. No, I don't want to go back out into the forest. Not where I'm trying to go right now. Where the heck is the... Listen, I just... I want to go to the inn. Leave it to Maka. Hello, Mr. Hero. We're so excited you're here. If you need to know anything about these woods, just ask Maka. Or you can climb up here if you want to speak to the great Deku tree. About the forest. The highlights here in Korok Forest are the great Deku tree and the sword pedestal, of course. Although the great Deku tree probably d isn't very happy about becoming a tourist trap. We've really decked out the place inside of Great Deco Tree in anticipation of your arrival. You'll find a place to rest and a bunch of other useful things in there. And then there's the sword pedestal, the sword that seals the darkness, which needs no introduction. Rest there. The sword pedestal is in the center of the forest. If you stand on the pedestal and look around, you'll be able to understand most of the paths in the forest. Bean lamps act as landmarks. You'll want to familiarize yourself with them to make it easier to find your way around. If you get turned around, you can always head back to the sword pedestal. Do you need something else? About the sword. The sword that seals the darkness to be wielded by you and you alone. You finally found it. We worked really hard to make sure no one else has stumbled upon it. How did you like the Lost Woods? Did you get lost? Too many times. Well, you obviously made it through because you're here. Did you need something else? How do I leave? You want to leave the forest? But why? It's perfect here. Just kidding. I know you have to leave sometime. You've got to save Hyrule. From the high, if you head east from the sword pedestal, there will be a sign on your right. Climb up the hill on the right side of the sign, and you'll see an ogre tree. If you walk into the tree's mouth, you'll whoosh be taken to the entrance of the woods. We set it up that way because even us Koroks don't like to walk through the Lost Woods if we, we, we can avoid it. Did you need something else? No, I think we're good. If you have any trouble with anything in these woods, just ask Maka. I have returned from the kitchen where I was putting together a Polish-style refrigerator soup. Ooh, sounds exciting. All right. Forest Dweller Shield. The Koroks made this shield specifically for Hylians. It was made from the finest hardwood of trees that grow only in the Korok Forest. So it's sturdier than it looks. Alrighty. How, how do I get in <laughs> to the Deco Tree? Hey, here's the shrine. Useful. That will be useful in future, when we inevitably have to come back to the sword pedestal, as well. Let's actually mark the sword pedestal here, too. Do, 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 do. Getting ready to go for a jog? We are getting ready to raid here pretty shortly. So if you are able to stick around for a raid, you would of course be welcome. No, I want to do a stamp. There we go. But if your adventures take you elsewhere, I understand. All right, I'm supposed to be able to get into the deco tree, right? Ah, there we go. I just hadn't stood in the correct place yet. Complete the trials! Huh? You? 
Could it be? You're Mr. Hero. Mr. Hero is here! A mushroom on my head suddenly sprouted today, so I knew something was up. It was a prediction that you'd come. I think. Us Corex all got together and prepared some trials just for you, Mr. Hero. If you pass the very tough trials we've prepared, pulling out the Master Sword will be a piece of cake. Probably. Well, among the trials is an extra tough one, designed by me, the Elder of the Korok Forest. That explains why he's uh, so well decorated. So will you test your mettle in the Korok Trials? I'll do it. You know, if you keep doing everything everyone asks you without question, you're going to get conned eventually. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the Korok Trials. Sh long story short, you will need to visit all of the shrines in the Korok Forest so that you can be considered a real grown-up. Trial 1! In the Southeast Forest. Trial of Second Sight. Trial 2. In the Northwest Forest. The Lost Pilgrimage. Trial 3. In the Eastern Forest. The Test of Wood. If you can overcome the Korok Trials, you can overcome anything! We've also prepared some wonderful prizes for you. Now show us what you're made of. All right, do your best. Trial one. Thank, thank you. I didn't, I didn't need them again. Thank you for for the information. I appreciate you. All righty, we have gone inside. There is a place to cook. Oh, we haven't gotten glowy hoppies. It's, it's, it's Mr. Hero. Yay, Mr. Hero came to visit us in the forest. What took you so long? Peeks through thought of a trial that would make Mr. Hero stronger. You wouldn't have to fight, and it's not scary. But you'll need to be extra careful. So, I want to see a blue bee. It's blue, glowy, hoppy thing that glows in the dark. Just about Mr. Peek's size. I just really want to see a blue bee, even if you've just got a picture of one. I can help you out. Doofus Domain, how the heck are you? It is good to see you. Huh? Wait, wait, you have it already? Yeah, see? Wait, wait a minute. Is that a real blue bee? Yes. Wow, it's even more beautiful than Peaks imagined. Thanks so much, Mr. Hero. Now I'm content. Oh, here's a little thank you gift. Peaks didn't forget. Ooh, rupee. These Gorak voices make me so happy. I'm so glad. Oh, yeah. Mr. Hero needs rupees sometimes, right? If you desperately need rupees, you should shoot an arrow at a bloopy. They dropped lots of rupees if you hit them. Oh, man. I'm so glad I got to see something so cool. Peaks is so happy right now. I'm I'm glad you I'm glad you enjoyed it. Silly little Korok. Alrighty, who's the guy that's gonna sell me a place to sleep? Yeah. <sighs> no, vegetarians everywhere. Stop. That's my face. Ah sorry about that. I must have dozed off for a bit. Oh, oh, you're Mr. Hero, aren't you? The great Deku tree told me all about you. You finally made it to our forest, huh? I've been waiting for so long, I thought I might start to put down roots. Rough time, but I'm making it. Figured I'd come by for some positive vibes. Doofus Domain, I'm glad you were able to stop in today. I appreciate it. A welcome to the great Deku tree's navel. Made a bed out of leaves just for you, Mr. Hero. So as long as you like with... <laughs> stay, take as long as you like with yawns and disease. How long would you like to snooze? Until morning. Until I say good morning? All right. Go get some rest. We'll see if it gives us any bonus hearts. I'm hoping it will. Somehow I doubt that it is going to be enough for us to pull the sword if we do get bonus hearts. Which we didn't. Cool. That's fine. Good morning. You can grab some breakfast next door at the Spore Store. If you're tired, or even if you're not, come back and catch some Z's soon, okay? Alrighty. 
So, we are gonna save here. We do the save. Bonus hearts don't count for that? Well, that's rude. I mean, it makes sense, but rude. So, y'all wanted to see more of the Broccoli Man dance. So we will do that. More of that will come tomorrow.